Welcome back to 1700 with Lisa, Siobhan and Jai. Uh, we're very thrilled to be joined by Trent in the studio who's performed three great tracks for us off the new album. What inspired the new album? Uh, finally getting around to it. <laughs> yeah, there, there was, uh, we actually, we performed as a band uh, for quite a while without actually recording anything. Yeah. And, um, and then when Tyranny of Distance was cast upon us, because Amber's now you know, on the Sunshine Coast, we thought, well, we need to keep doing it. So the best way to do that is just to start recording. So we re recorded over online, sent stuff to Dropbox and whatnot. And wow. uh, yeah, so we just needed, we never really had a sound either. Yeah. So we thought, oh, well, uh, we'll concentrate on that. So it's the first time we've actually got some kind of sonic quality to it, which seems to be paying off. I mean, what we intended, people are starting to get. So that's oh, cool. Great. Yeah. Have you noticed a difference in music scenes between Noosa or the Sunshine Coast and Melbourne? Amber tells me there's a lot of reggae mm. on the Sunshine Coast. Sounds uh, about not right. Not to poo-poo reggae, but she's kind of over it. You know, okay. Some yeah. days you just want a bit of variety on it. You know, there's only so many ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunks you can deal with in a week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Melbourne's pretty, pretty vibrant and there's a lot of disparate stuff going on. Mm. You can't really mm. put it down to one thing. It's, it's, it's all over the place. So. Um, but yeah, we were sort of probably locked into some of that, some of the stuff we were listening to, but we just tried to sort of combine a, a sort of surf rock vibe um, that's a bit more alternative. It's not just one dimensional. Yeah. So, you know, uh, we like a lot of different bands, like, you know, Selita Keeney, The Cramps, um, and Guided by Voices, so we try to build all that together, and, and it seems to be giving us a bit of a voice, so, yeah. Great. Um, so, the, the new album has about 10 songs on it, how long does it take to write 10 songs? I'm just mm. wondering because, you know, I mean, you just think, all right, you've written a few songs, you know, in a week. <laughs> Not that anyone can write it, but how long does it take to prepare that with all, you know, the rest of the band as well and to make and to put together a, a full album? Yeah, I'd say there's probably four or five old songs there, mm -hmm. which, you know, they're, they were written. So you could argue that it took 10 years to write. Um, but the other five came out pretty quickly, probably within a, a month. So you, sometimes you'd be, uh, I've got a bit of free time at home, there's no one around, I've got to go to the shops and you might do it in five minutes. And that, the nub of the song's there. But then trying to put it all together, um, when you've got people in different states, takes a little bit of a more time. We did the drum tracks in literally a day in one room. Wow. We used one microphone just as an experiment because you can go overkill with the with yeah. all the uh, mics. Yeah. Um, See, I wasn't joking when I said one week. You can do a drum yeah. album in, in, a, in day. a day. In a day, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but um, but in terms of putting it all together, once we had everything, um, we Amber flew down and we did a few more vocals, so there was a bit of back and forth with that. Um, but it took most of Christmas and the best part of January to put it all together in pieces because when you're sending stuff online mm. uh, oh, yeah, there's going to bound to be a few little mistakes so you're sort of stretching bits and putting it all together and yeah. it's a bit of a mad scientist really thing it's cool. like a, a jigsaw puzzle and you, you put that last piece in as oh no there's an accident motor in the window <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it uh, that was the longest bit yeah in terms of writing the vocals is there a particular environment or routine that you find really conducive to writing if you ever get writer's block um just pick up a, a book or anything, you know, yeah, I, some of the stuff I, I write about, I might p pick up a political book or a sports book and there might be two vaguely similar ideas, so you just jam them together. And then it might be something that someone said which doesn't make any sense but it flows really well. It's a bit like Donnie Darko and then a cellar door is a beautiful phrase. It's just a cellar door but it just rolls off the tongue really well. Mm. So um, yeah, it could be anything really. I, mean, I think it's better to have a springboard for ideas rather than being really literal because once yeah. you've done that it's like well that's what the song's about. So it probably has a bit more life if you uh, if you leave a bit of room for interpretation. Yeah. yeah. And this album launches on the 27th of July. It Any is. details on what audiences can expect and, and where it will be? Yeah, well, I don't know what to expect. It's the first time we've played live together for a while, um, but it'll be in the round. It's actually at Bakehouse Studios where they filmed a number of different, I think there was a Paul Kelly documentary and a few other things there. So it's, it's going to be in the round. So it'll look like a, like a big room with a bar in it. So And, and people will be sort of surrounding us so we'll put out details for some sort of free passes to that show, uh, but you'll be able to stream it live. So if you just go to Facebook slash Tetsuians, um, we'll put out an event soon, so people will be able to sort of tune in when that happens. So it'll be yeah, seven o'clock at night. So yeah, if you're not wow. doing anything, go to the footy, playing chess. Yeah, right. Tune into that. 
Sounds awesome. great. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. We've loved your performances. And Thanks for having me. Yeah. Chat. Yeah, no Perfect. Yeah. Look under your seats. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, mine's not under my Or seat. under a table. <laughs> yeah, it's Oprah time. <laughs> Oprah yeah. time, exactly. Everyone gets an album at home. Uh, we'll be back very mm -hmm. soon with Clip of the Week. You're watching 1700.